That's rareware! <laughs> this looks how it looks like. The other one's okay, playing Donkey Kong Land 3. Uh, so, that game got released in the West for the Game Boy, but it got released in Japan on a Game Boy Color. Which I'm playing with a patch that brings it back to the American version, other than the fact that it's on the Game Boy Color. Consider the definitive experience. Whoa. Uh, so, from what I heard, this game is kind of between. So, like, Duck Kong Land 1, really weird. I really loved its own identity, but it was really buggy. 2 was stable, but it was basically a downport from the Super Nintendo version I thought was really boring. I've heard that Donkey Kong Land 3 is essentially a best of both worlds. Oh, that was the world map? Well, I'm stuck here now, at Red Wharf. It has its own level names. Alright, so, like before... Okay, so you still can't throw your your buddies around. But there's that up there. Eh! You're supposed to, like, bounce on this guy here? Like, he's just kind of, like, chugging along. He's like, uh, I'm here having my walk, so we still got money. So, yeah, uh, I've never played this game before, obviously. Um, I don't really know what to expect, but, you know, yeah, people had things to say about this game when I was playing, uh, Legend 2. Yeah, R L and R buttons on the Game Boy Color. No, I don't know, what, like, that lone banana, what it means. But yeah, so, yeah, people were saying that this game is pretty hard. I mean, it looks like this, this Game Boy Color rendition, at the very least, is absurdly clear. Like, this is, this is like I'm playing a real video game here. I don't want to go down here. There's Yo. Oh, there's a banana here. We know what that means. It means there's a bonus! Find a token! No, I don't want to. Oh, Alright, well, is it over here? I can just float everywhere and skip everything. Duh! So we got the bear coins. It says B on them for bear. And uh, we got rats on the on, on, on the dwarf. And we call that wharf dwarf bobbin. I don't know who calls it that. It's not me. There's barrel there just kinda chilling around. Check that out. There's some ropes here. That is speed of sound. I don't know what that means. Just collect the stars! I want to. Alright, so you'd be like, ah. Uh. Oh, you can turn it manually. Oh, whoops, and there's a thing. Alright. Okay, the star counter's on the left. I kind of noticed that last minute there. Really proud of myself. Alright, so wait a second. There's more bananas there. And there, it shoots me up. Okay. Oh, we still got Coin and his beautiful puzzle games. Oh man, I'm glad to see that. I'm glad that coin still's got a job. Like there's there's a banana here, so obviously that gets my attention. You get a wet balloon. One thousand wet balloons. You can't jump off the water there. There's an invisible ceiling. Eating all the clam chowder in your bowl. Rude guy McQueen. Look at that sweet victory flip though. Dixie knows how to flip. So, oh, that was awkward. So once again, got an exclamato and a DK coin. Everything we need to know. Pressing different button doesn't do anything new. Seabed shanty. We're going on a bridge and then suddenly it's the water. It's second level is the water level. Taking big risks here. Clownfish looking gross. Lurchin uh, looking boast. I got myself a sea friend. It's a marlin. Uh, attack button does nothing. You need to press the jump button to lunge forward with a powerful nose attack that will render and sunder all of your friends and enemies and Joe Pesci. Ah, uh, fish snuck on me. So he's not completely ludicrously invincible, like I'm kind of used to him to be. That's fine. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff up here. Like, what if there were treasure, huh? What if that's just a return here? And you could just take a down path here that's a little marginally quicker, huh? What about that? What about what? What's your face like? It has a nose, a mouth, two ears, two eyeballs. That's right. I went with a deluxe package. And I think I, like, sniff the flowers and guard the... Sniff them good. Alright, well, here's... here's the fish channel. 
Sometime a fish comes out of the fish tunnel. It's like, whoa. Fish tunnel, what do you see? I wish the camera was slightly differently placed. So I could see above myself. Their name is Baza. Or at least, that looks like holes in the... In, in the zone, in the face, in your there's holes in your face, but I think it's just it's just cosmetic. That guy is gone. There's a barrel down there. What do we do about that? Can you go through a thing somewhere? Like maybe. If you can. Oh, there, right there. You know, it's just here. The invisible passageway. Look at that. We get money. We get bananas. We get a lunch, we get an invisible something that went from wow. That's how you know, it's the real bonus. No bonus room though, like this is like side bonus. Which I mean, I mean I'll, I'll still take. Like it's still nice to have. It's just, you know, what about the big bee barrel, huh? That's where all the food is stored, and the muscles. And then it does weird squishy sounds when you flex. Like, that's why that happens. It's because that's where your butter is stored. And, you know, squeaky butter, man. Is the only way to eat an apple. That's what I've always thought. Ooh, this is a long level. This is the midpoint. It's the middle of the road. That arrow wants me to go down there. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that was a fun arrow. Or you can take the detour. Like, I hope, I mean, I mean look, if I have to return the level, to find a bonus by going through walls all day long. I will. I'll do it. I'm not gonna like it though, and I might protest. I'm gonna do it. That fish, it's pretty big. It ate a lot of shoes that fell inside the ocean by clumsy cinema stars. It's always how it go. Look at that, it's a bonus! Bash the baddies! That's not as catchy as destroy them all, I'm afraid. Alright, gotta find all the bounty bass. And bounty their bass. There we go. Where are you at now, bro? That's a tiny enemy. You're not as big as a bounty bass at all. Whoop. Make it you a little bit harder to hit. Kinda. Uh. Okay, I heard of a brow row. Space sounds. There we go. That's a coin with a B on it. Because... Whoa, that's why. That's because. Don't need no other reasons, man. Brown and blue. Yes, we can. Check it out. It's a banana in the water. It will fill us with dreams. As long as your dream is more potassium. Why is that guy there? Is he hiding something? Like, yeah, like, why would you have that weird guy there? Oh, this might just be a shortcut, though. And not a bonus time, because look, oh yeah, I think we're like, I think we skipped ahead in the level. You go through where the lurchin's at, and you go, hey, friend, what? Yeah, I didn't get the coin or anything. Um, I did not benefit from this bonus at all, the shortcut at all, because I want to get everything. Dang it. Dang it. So used to you auto attacking. What? How did that hurt me? All right. Uh, as of yet, I haven't found anything on the other side of the midpoint. Oh, where did I take that weird shortcut? Because I don't remember doing this. No, no, no. Yeah, this is where I went through and ended up taking a shortcut. So. I mean, it's very possible that, you know, the shortcut led me past the things I'm interested in. It is extremely possible. I'm constantly afraid of just trying to go through nonsense, though. Wants me to go down. So of course we're gonna look around up. See that's where the decay coin is. 
So it won't necessarily have a puzzle. I mean, that's what that means. Good to know. When am I gonna be where the paths meet again? I wonder. Because I still don't remember any of this. It was a major shortcut. Alright, if I see a no inward bombardi, I'm going to consider eating a lunch with my hands. As you do. Oh, no, wait. This is, this is here. Collect the stars, by the way. Alright. Oh, they just kind of appear. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Check it out. Going across this big old figure eight is pretty darn gosh obscene. Going around the shape and then I'm gonna cut up through on top. Oh boy, I got everything. Now I got a coin. It is just right here. I did it. Alright, so that's two things. There's a DK coin, there's another bonus. There's a fish that hurt me, emotionally. Not a fan of that. And there's the end. Whoa, you can actually finish as an animal? That just feels wrong. Alright, so we got Wrinkly's place again, refuge. Tea's ready, you're clearly playing a video game. Look at that, you're just cranky on a poster. Okay, it's saving tea! All right, well, there we go. Keep an eye out for those crowns. I'm do my best. Look, take an eye out for enemies. Let's do Fort Knox. It's a joke on Fort Knox. I I know jokes. I understand why this is a joke. Hey, it's in guard at the pier. Here we go. I'm a fish. I can peek my eyes above the water level, and they won't dry out. Check it out, I'm a fish, I'm roaming the sea, and I hit an urchin, and I am in pain. Alright, got it, and I understand. Just a big fish going under the sand. Well, technically above the sand. We're not digging tonight. So, is this just like a big level shortcut? Like, it's interesting if you want to speed run. But, if, if you want to get the things, like, I don't think I benefited from this at all. Well, we can see the sweet masking around these bananas, though. It looks looking pretty good. Alright, well, that was the first half of the level, and it will not let me go here. Arbitrary walls. Well, if I'm missing something at the end of the episode, nowhere to look. Look at how it's a wrap. Oh, there's a flashing thing here. It's called a banana. It's called a balloon. Bash the baddie! I missed destroy them all. What was wrong with destroy them all? <laughs> I just spun around. <laughs> <laughs> Someone waxed this wood, and I was just no, I just was thwapping away, man. All right, check it out. Maybe there's something in the water. I don't know. There's there's a barrel right here. It's pretty exciting. Green bees are made of these. Big money. I aim to please. Destroy the rat, and there's a coin puzzle. Can you solve it? Oh, I, I did it. I solved it. And I got these prizes, too. But yeah. Like, I barely explored a level. <laughs> so, it's fine. Let's not take a big shortcut at the start. How about that? We can go here, and we can glide, and... Whoa, look at that. There's a bug. It's an inset. And he's like, check it out. I'm a bug. I go buzz. And I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. I already filled out my lower... My lower order of Ecclesiasta down there with teeth. Just so many teeth. How do you do things to do? Like, clearly I want to get up there. But clearly, I don't know how. I don't even know where I am. Like, I want to go in that balloon up there, but I think I was supposed to use the man. Like, should I just start select? Because I can! Whoa, there's something weird. I want to... I'm holding the button right now. So as long as you hold a button, you're going to keep jumping, which I guess is a feature. I don't like it, though. Okay, so I think here I need to bounce on Vladimir. 
Like, is it supposed to be that hard to get that? Or, like, am I missing... Yeah, I can do that, but, like, I can't... Pick up my buddy. Like, down select. Up select. Nope. There's a barrel up there. And then I get hit in a dumb way. There's a barrel up there. Like, it has to mean something. Okay, other theory is I'm supposed to, like... Jeez, no, yeah, okay. Uh, had I controlled myself better, I'm pretty sure that I could have easily, easily made it. Dude, that is... <clears throat> there we go. I'm pretty sure it wasn't supposed to be that hard. Bash the baddies, by the way. Alright, I bashed that bird. I should probably just run into them. Yeah, oh, it's kill two birds. It's not even using one stone. What a non-bonus, though. What a complete non-event at the end. But no, yeah, okay. So that's the kind of platforming precision this game just might ask. And or I did it bad. It's extremely possible, too. That I missed something, like, uh, but hey, this has immediately been a lot more interesting than Land 2, so looking forward to where this goes, man.